What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe. So today I'm going to try to do something a little bit different than anything I've ever done before and we'll see how how inventive I get with this. But I wanted to start off by talking a little bit about gratitude. I did a video a long while back about gratitude and I haven't really touched upon that subject for a while so I wanted to do that. And then I was also hoping that I could kind of go into a, how do I even want to say it? I just want to go on a gratitude rant. Like I want to just bring up all the things in life that we take for granted. Maybe I'll do some like creative videos, images, and just kind of give that over to you guys. Like I think, you know, the amazing thing about gratitude is that it, it just immediately makes you feel better. It just immediately makes you feel better, makes you feel good, puts you into a state of mind that is receptive and open and appreciative of your life, of of our lives, of of you know the the times we live in the situations we live in and just how beautiful and wonderful everything is and can be if we actually give our attention and focus over to it so that that is what this video is going to be briefly on gratitude itself and why it is so important and I'm definitely not the first person to bring this up. I am not the only person to talk about this. There are people who, you know, have it into their daily routine that they list out things they're grateful for. Right first thing in the morning. And if you do that, or if you're interested in doing that, I definitely recommend that. I've done that in the past and I do that from time to time and it definitely does uplift your day it's it makes you you know it just makes you appreciative of what you have and the other thing about that like i mentioned is it does put you in a receptive mode because when you're saying thank you you are now putting your awareness your consciousness onto what you have as opposed to what you don't have so you are you are aware of all the abundance that exists for you at all times if you will only put your attention and focus on it. It is there for you to see, for you to have and feel at any moment in time. It's just that so often we're trained or we haven't been trained to look at what we have, to look at ourselves as being abundant. So often we see ourselves as less than or in want of or in need of and we don't we don't focus on ourselves as beings of incredible wealth and luck and love and and all of the good things that that people want in life. So that's about gratitude. And now, yeah, I haven't planned this out. I like I said, I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm just going to start start appreciating things. So first of all, I just want to say like, thank you to you guys. Really. Thank you to like watching this. I thank you. Thank you for like the eyes and the ears and the hearts and the minds that you all have when you approach m not just my videos, but anyone's video, you know, it's like really an incredible time when we're all sharing our knowledge online and everyone has a course now and everyone has a YouTube channel and everyone and yes, you might be like, well, it's too much information, but actually, isn't it amazing that we're, that we're all able to share, first of all, that like people are that generous and that giving of their time and their expertise, but also, you know, those people don't exist without people to receive it, people to appreciate it, people to learn from it, people to really listen and really dig in and delve in and be there holding the other end of it. You have to have both of those. So thank you so much for being here, for being you, for being watchers, receivers, followers, subscribers, any of it, all of it. Thank you for technology. I, I love, love technology more and more as I understand it better. I think, you know, cameras, equipment, computers, internet, websites, website builders coding all, all of the coders who make it all possible i i'm amazed by their knowledge and their expertise i'm 
So thank you to the internet. Thank you to technology. How about, how about coding itself? How about the very inception of coding, of ones and zeros, of putting numbers, programs into a box and suddenly it spits out, you know, the amazing applications that we have today. How about ingenuity itself? How about creativity and imagination itself? Something that we all have, something that every single person is inherently born with and that can serve them and does serve them for their entire lives and, and brings about situations or people or creations or inventions that, that some would never ever imagine, would ever think possible. You know, we have our own imaginations and then we're lucky enough to get to experience the imagination of others and the creativity of others. How about, I'm thankful, I'm, da, 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 I'm thankful for, for music. I am thankful for music. Imagine a world without music. And the fact is now you can like press a button you could press a little button and there's music, any kind of music you want, any kind. You know, I always get asked like, what kind of music do you like? And, and how do you answer that? Because there's so much out there. There's so much and it's all valuable. It's all valid. It's all interesting. Whether it goes from like experimental jazz to heavy metal rock, you know, I don't listen to heavy metal, but I understand it has its place and I understand it's meaningful to other people and I am glad that it exists because I think that's just, I think, I think that's awesome that it exists. I, I love how music can like connect people. You know, the reason why you ask like, what songs do you like? What music do you like? When you meet someone who's into the same band or into the same singer, or loves the same songs or, or knows all the lyrics and can sing along with you, that just connects you, that makes you feel like this person already knows me. Just with this, this simple little link, this simple little connection, we know each other somehow. And that's the beauty of art. Art in general. I'm grateful for just art in general. Art speaks a language of such immediacy, of such connection, of such, it just crosses boundaries. It crosses history and pasts and stories. And it just links people because there is a universality to being human that we all understand and we all resonate with. And art is able to tap into those things and say things that maybe other people couldn't or didn't think to articulate it in that specific way. And the more art that you encounter, the more you are connected in this way to other human beings without ever having met them. I'm grateful for beauty. I am grateful for beauty. I, I've talked a little bit about this, that like, you know, I think because we're so afraid to make beauty the, the ultimate ideal, we also forget that beauty is, is amazing and not something to be shunned or afraid of. Beauty is, is in the eye of the beholder and it is something that takes your breath away. It is something that moves you. It is something like elegance. There's like an, an elegant, natural quality to beauty, like just a simplicity and something good and true that jumps out at you when you see something beautiful and and it can be anything it can be anything it doesn't have to be a pretty face it can be a chair it can be a tree it can be beauty is its own quality is its own lens i would say and i am grateful for that lens i'm grateful for my family you know all of you all of you have a family and i don't know what you think about your family but you have one and there are people who have loved you. There are people who know you. There are people who actually share the same DNA as you. And that's incredible. Like if you just think about that, you have a family history. You have people who came before you, who had lives before you, who had struggles and a culture and professions and, and all of the heartache 
or all of the excitement or all of the passion or everything that you yourself experience today or have experienced your ancestors, your family before you has experienced the same thing. And, it, and you are connected to those people. You are connected through your DNA, through your blood. You are connected. You are connected here to the human race. And we're all connected. I mean, if we're talking about family, like we, we, all, came, we all come from the same family. We come from, you know, if, if it is true that like we all came from like one little tribe in Africa, hey, we're all the same family. We are actually, actually not just in some like cheesy Hallmark card way, we are actually connected to one another at all times and for all times. And so there's never ever any reason to feel alone ever because we're connected. I was thinking of this just the other day, you know, there are, <laughs> there are so many things that one can choose to look at as a most miraculous thing, if you want, and even just walking by someone on the street and seeing another human being. You know, if, if you were the last human on earth, do you know what another human being would mean to you? It would mean everything. And that's what I love about context, right? It's like with that context, that other person, that, that stranger walking down the street, that would be the greatest thing. <laughs> that had happened in your year, at least. Like, like that, that would mean so much to you. And so every single human being that you walk by, you can look at it like that if you want. I'm gonna throw a few more just like basic things. I'm grateful for coffee. I'm grateful for like coffee beans that get shipped across the world so that I can boil water and pour hot water over beans and it turns into a beverage and it gives me energy to make videos and edit and stay up late writing and, and doing all those things. I'm grateful for coffee also because it again like connects people for some reason we like gathering around a hot beverage and, and talking and being in public spaces. I'm grateful for sunscreen you know Scientists were like, hey, let's protect people from the sun so they can still go out and not get burnt. And that's an amazing thing. And do you know how many varieties, how many different kinds, how many different brands, how many different ages, like specific sunscreens we get to have? Also, our skin can stay, can stay ghostly pale <laughs> like mine. All of that. I'm grateful for babies because that's just obvious. I'm grateful for animals and pets because they're so funny. They're so funny. And I'm, I'm even grateful for our ability to, what's it called? To humanize animals, like the way that we see them as if they're like us, like members of the family. And we kind of assume that they you know, like we don't know if they have thoughts or dreams, but we assume they do. And they definitely seem like they do. Like they seem very, very, very human, just very small, furry humans. And I don't know if they are or whether we're just putting that on them, but I love that phenomena, phenomenon, that we treat animals like that, that we see ourselves in animals. I'm grateful for movies. I'm grateful for television shows. I'm grateful for clothing. I am grateful for online shopping. <laughs> Seriously, does anyone still shop in the store? Because I don't want to go back to doing that. I like just getting it in the mail. for swimming and beaches and stars stars I can actually see stars from my parents place late at night and I couldn't do that in LA not really I'm grateful that we still get to see stars and that they're dead by the time they reach us and so we're literally like living in a weird echo of time 
And we're aware of that when we're actually looking at the stars. It's amazing. I think that will do for now. So yeah, I don't know what you guys will think about this, but uh, I, my, my intent with this is that this is something that you're able to just play and, and put you in a place of gratitude and appreciation. And that, that you come up with your own lists, that you come up with your own, your own attention to your own abundance. Okay. I love you so much and I hope you're having a